welcome to Mr. Moser's Meandering Monday. If you remember, last week we were at Winthrop University and we had so much information, we had to make it two parts. Helping me out today will be Miss Whiteside's third grade teacher, Winthrop graduate, and former Winthrop tour guide to give us all sorts of information about Winthrop University. But first, here's a little history. Winthrop University began in 1886 as the Winthrop Training School. It began its journey with a mission to train young women to teach in public schools. Named after Robert Charles Winthrop, the school began in Columbia, South Carolina. Under the leadership of its first president, David Bancroft Johnson, Winthrop moved to Rock Hill, South Carolina in 1895. Only women were allowed to go to Winthrop until 1974, which is the first time they allowed male students to be part of the student body. Like all colleges and universities, Winthrop has its own student union. This is a building where students go to eat meals, to buy supplies, or to just hang out and have fun with friends. There's all sorts of restaurants inside and outside like a Starbucks. There's areas to play games. They have their own food court, including Chick-fil-A and other restaurants. And students can go there to actually buy books in their bookstore, along with all sorts of Winthrop gear. Sweatshirts, t-shirts, hats, basically anything you can think of. So this is Campus Green. It's in the center of campus near our student union and it's a path that lots of students take to get to and from their classes and their meals. Lots of times organizations will host events out here. Um, you can hang out with your friends and bring a picnic. Um, there's concerts out here. It's a fun place to enjoy Winthrop's campus. At the heart of our campus, right next to Campus Green, is the Little Chapel. And it's actually an original building to Winthrop College. Um, it was originally in Columbia, the college was. And when it was decided to make the move to Rock Hill, the workers took apart this building brick by brick and numbered them all and brought them here and rebuilt the building. So underneath this building is actually buried our first president and his wife, um, David Bancroft Johnson. And hey, third graders, do you know what kind of statue that is? What style? I bet you do. We learned it in our culture cruise. Behind me is Phelps, which is a dorm, which is short for the word dormitory, which is actually a place where students live and sleep. So when you go to college, most of the time you actually move there. So you sleep there, you have your own room. Sometimes you have a roommate, which is like somebody your age that you live with, not your sibling. Somebody you get to pick most of the time. And um, so you actually stay on campus. There's a few different kinds of dorms. The one behind me is named Phelps, and it's a suite style dorm, which means there's two bedrooms connected by a bathroom that they share. And then it's just rows and rows of that. There's another style called a hall bath, where you just have your bedroom that you share with a roommate. And then there is a bathroom at the end of the hall that's got like six showers and six toilets and six sinks and you just go and use that whenever you need to and share with everyone on your hall. Winthrop also has some apartment style housing where you live with like three or four people and it's like an apartment but it's for students but the most popular ones on Winthrop's campus are the suite style and the hall bath. As I mentioned before, Winthrop started as a college to train people to be teachers, and it's still known for that to this day. If your teacher went to Winthrop, they should be familiar with this building 
This is the Richard Riley College of Education, Sport, and Human Sciences. Each program on campus has somebody who's in charge to make sure everything runs smoothly. Let's hear from the Dean of the College of Education. Hello, so glad that you're visiting with Winthrop and in the College of Education, Sport and Human Sciences. I'm Dean Costner, and I'm kind of like the principal here at the College of Education, Sport and Human Sciences. And we work with people who wanna be teachers, who wanna be athletic directors, who wanna work in healthcare, and who wanna work in sport management. We think it's great to be learning about college now and hope you have a great tour of Winthrop. Winthrop University also is home to 14 Division I sports teams, including baseball and softball, basketball, cross country, golf, lacrosse, soccer, volleyball, esports, and track and field. We were able to catch some of the sprinters practicing after school. The sports complex with all the stadiums for all the different sports is built next to Winthrop Lake where you can also walk, run. It also has a national championship frisbee golf course that you can play. A big thank you goes out to Miss Whitesides for helping me with this two-part Meandering Monday about Winthrop University. Have a great day. Thank you.